Hello everyone, this is PKL Entertainment and we are back again and here now we have another video for you and we're going to talk about Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and its chances of success and whether it will make a billion dollars worldwide at the box office. Now as we all know, this is the sequel to the very distant, now first film of Doctor Strange which was released in 2016 to a great box office success of over 670 million worldwide. Now despite the long period between his solo films, Doctor Strange has become a prominent member within the MCU with many appearances in the likes of Thor Ragnarok, Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Endgame and most recently Spider-Man No Way Home. So will Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness go on to make a billion dollars worldwide? Now at this stage, I'm going to say yes and in previous coverage I've stated that I believe the film will also be 2022's biggest comic book movie and I think its chances have just increased even further with the Batman perceived to have somewhat underperformed with grossing only and I say that in inverted commas 710 million worldwide plus the fact that DC has moved certain movies such as The Flash and Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom both to 2023 as well. So really the only real competing superhero movies Within this year are the Marvel ones with both the likes of Thor, Love and Thunder and also Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. As well as the likability of Benedict Cumberbatch in the lead role, we also have to acknowledge the continued popularity of Elizabeth Olsen as Wanda Maximoff. This is a character who we've seen steadily develop from Avengers Age of Ultron, Captain America Civil War, Avengers Infinity War and of course her own lead story in the series WandaVision. So Wanda has her own fans who are very intrigued to see where the character goes next and certainly with this sequel we have the promise of a darker threatening version of Wanda potentially being the villain of the piece. We all know from the source material that Scarlet Witch is one of the most powerful members within the Marvel Universe and it definitely seems that the MCU is finally tapping into the heightened levels of her power within this characterization. So there's so much potential going forward in terms of Wanda as a character and it definitely seems that this sequel will be tapping into that. We look at the trailers themselves and they've generated a lot of hype and excitement with all of the dizzying effects and spectacular sequences promising all sorts of comic book escapism and imagination. The fact that we'll seemingly be tapping much more into the multiverse origins that we saw originally from No Way Home and this will always get fans excited because of all the different possibilities, particularly from the second trailer where we saw the introductions it seems of Professor X and the first allusions into how exactly the X-Men will be introduced into this universe. We had that particular scene where we saw Doctor Strange it seems coming up to meet the Illuminati which features a version of Professor X. So if we won't see the complete versions of the X-Men appear in this film, we will definitely see some sort of planting of the seeds as to how exactly they will be introduced within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So all of these aspects draw audiences in because the current climate audiences want to see connectivity and speculation into the whole wider universe and of course Marvel were the pioneers in many ways in creating and sustaining a connected universe throughout multiple movies. We also take into consideration that the movie's runtime will only be around 2 hours and 6 minutes. This is comparatively short when we look at other comic book movies and though this may cause issues in terms of the story that they're trying to tell, it would of course make sure that they garner far more screenings per theatre at the cinemas. So when I consider all of these factors, I'm pretty much sure that Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness will go on to gross a billion dollars worldwide. Now I don't think it will catch Spider-Man No Way Home which just fell short of two billion dollars remarkably given the fact that it wasn't released in China. I don't think Doctor Strange quite has the same appeal that Spider-Man does as a character and I don't believe that the film will be released in China. Again, anybody who knows more, correct me in the comments. But we've seen recently with the likes of Black Widow, Eternals, Shang-Chi and Spider-Man No Way Home, there is very much of a fraction now between both Marvel and the Chinese box office. And I think that will continue with Doctor Strange as well. So obviously that will cost somewhat in terms of being able to gross a billion dollars worldwide. But despite all of this, I think the Marvel brand is strong enough alongside the popularity of both Doctor Strange and Wanda Maximoff and all of the speculative possibilities around where this will take us in terms of the Marvel Cinematic Universe coming off the heels of Spider-Man No Way Home, I think these elements are enough to see the film push through and hit that magical $1 billion mark. And even if it misses out slightly, I still believe that Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness will go on to become one of the highest grossing movies within 2022. 
So those are my overall quick thoughts and predictions as to the overall box office of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you disagree with me and you don't believe that the film will be the most successful grossing comic book movie of 2022, let me know in the comments what you believe will become the highest grossing superhero film of 2022. If this doesn't make a billion, do you believe that Black Panther, Wakanda Forever will make a billion? Do you think Thor Love and Thunder will even gross more than Thor Ragnarok? Or will Black Adam surprise us all and go on to gross huge amounts for the DC Cinematic Universe? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And of course, when the film arrives, I will provide both non-spoiler and spoiler reviews and also coverage surrounding the opening weekend at the box office as well. So look out for that future coverage within the channel as well. Please also hit and like the subscription and notification buttons so I can provide you with more high quality content like this in the future. But that's it for now. Take care of yourselves, stay at safe distances, and I will see you very, very soon.